What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction video. Woohoo! The thing that everybody has been waiting for. Yes, it is finally here. We are reacting to episode number six, episode number seven, and episode number eight. Now, here is your reminder that if you want to see the full uncut versions of these watch-alongs, then you can become a member for only one dollar a month today and you can get a link to all of my reactions, fully uncut, um, so it's probably more enjoyable. I do just wanna say real quick that this is my first time reacting to a TV show on YouTube, and obviously um, you that you have to find a way to kind of get past the, the you have to bypass the copyright system, right? And I, I, I don't really fully understand how like the algorithm picks up on it and stuff, so I'm kind of testing things. So I'm really sorry if like the first two episodes were kind of shorter than you would you were hoping. And if I missed some parts out in the edit that um, you really wanted to see me react to. Um, but obviously it's going to improve over time. So apologies and let's move forward. As you can see, I am snuggled up right here. I am going to uh, really, I've had a long day at work to be honest and I just kind of want to sit down and snuggle up and watch some Gravity Falls, my favourite show at the moment. Let's get straight into episode number six, Dipper versus Manliness. Sounds like a battle that I have with myself every day. Oh, it's the beavers! It's the beavers! It's him! It's him! It's them! <laughs> Familiar characters. Oh my god. <laughs> Why has she got a spoon on her nose? Where were you yesterday? I got hit by a bus. Hilarious! Thank you! What am I, made of money? Tap, tap. Nah. Oh, okay. Don't worry, guys. Pancakes are on me. I'm gonna win some by beating that manliness tester. Manliness tester? Beating. <laughs> <laughs> You're not exactly manly Mannington. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not forget last Tuesday's incident. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, you are a cute patootie. This must be broken. It's totally broken, guys. It's, it's rickety, man. I, you shouldn't even. This guy, man. <laughs> you no. and her. Stop it. Ah! Oh, boy. You have a thing for Lazy Susan. You do have a soft side. She's called Lazy Susan? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I was looking for the mailman. Oh, what? Are you saying I'm not a male man? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not male? I'm I'm not a man? Is that? <laughs> Boys don't cry. What? What is that thing? Man, okay. He's a man. Got it. <laughs> Jerky summon me. Jerky. <laughs> I love it when characters just break things for no reason. The gnomes live in the trees. The mer people live in the water cuz they're losers. But we manators crash in the man cave. The man cave. Oh my god. The puns. This is a uh, pubitor, testosterone, pituitor, and I'm Hutzpah. <laughs> pubitor, testosterone. <laughs> Diddly dumb memories. Ah, they were pictures from previous episodes. I'm soft like a woman. Crunkle Stan, Wait. Show me how you approach a woman. Remember, this is a safe, non-judgmental environment. I'll just be right off to the side, judging you on a scale from one to ten. Can I borrow some money? This is gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> K 
Can I borrow some money? Maybe you're not man enough to try. What? Not man enough? Good idea, Dipper. I have three Y chromosomes, six Adam's apples, packs on my abs, and fists for nipples! <laughs> That's my favorite line. Oh, that's weird. Is that? That sounds like yeah, a bunch of chickens. That was amazing. I have three Y chromosomes, five Adam's apples. Smile harder. Uh, harder. Is that a smile? Zeus. Sup, Ambone? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick. Love it. I don't really know what's happening in this part. You wish to be man. Bring back head of the multi bear. Multi bear. This is epic, to be honest. I love the music in this. It's fantastic. Okay. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Quite literally. All we're missing is a calamity Ganon. <laughs> Uncle Stan, come with me and leave your pants at home. With uh, 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 pleasure. Uh, oh no! Oh my God! <laughs> This episode is crazy! Oh Jesus. Oh my god. It's like a rat king. Don't look that up, by the way. But will you grant a magical beast one last request? Uh, okay. I wish to die listening to my favorite song. It's a trap. Press and hold. Okay, no, it's just comedic. This is about accepting who you are. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna do it. When a girly pop song comes on the radio, sometimes I leave it on. Cause dang it, top 40 hits are in the top 40 for a reason. They're catchy. <laughs> what are you gonna call? You wanna call now? I don't have a phone. Let's buy a phone. We can put it on a credit card. Let's get a credit card. Mabel. Mabel. Oh. Dipper, it's me, Mabel. I'm looking at you through the glass, right here. <laughs> Her innocent logic. It's so funny. This guy has chest hair. <laughs> Scrapbook cartoonist. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie. That was probably my favorite episode yet. I thought it was just so funny from start to finish. Like, the, the episodes have been really funny so far, like all of them. But I think this one took it up a notch and it, it it's starting to get really, really funny. And I'm starting to get really invested in this show. Um, that secret code right at the end was really long. So, here's what I want to do. And, uh, and you know, it, it's, it's a little bit like technology, how things like develop... Uh, over time uh, and, and get better and better systems get better and that's what I like to do I'm, I like to make things uh, more efficient and I've already done that uh, somewhat with my system for decoding things but I want to make it even better I want to make a, a program that will decode it for me and I'm going to do that right now I think this could be really really simple actually so all I need to do oops all I need to do is get all the letters and I wonder if I can pull it down. Oh my gosh, it doesn't work like that. Okay, I literally have to do them one at a time. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. It goes down here. So we know that a D is equal to an A and E is equal to a B. F is C. Uh, and I know that a H should be an E. Yeah, there you go. And then these three at the bottom need to be at the top. So X, Y, and Z. And then we do a VLOOKUP formula. And then, uh, so basically a VLOOKUP formula kind of looks for a, uh, a range in a table and then it gives you an output. There we go. 
B. Okay, it didn't work. Let me start again. So a VLOOKUP formula. <laughs> I know you probably don't care at all. But a VLOOKUP formula, basically we're going to be looking for this. Uh, and we're going to be looking for it in this table. We're going to get the second value and then a zero. So there we go. Here is our decoder. And we can pull this all the way down and it should work now. So what was my code? <laughs> I can't believe the lengths I'm going through to make this work. So we have P, U, and then a, and then a, um, and then a uh, full stop. F D H V D U L D Q. Uh, Mr. Caesarian. Okay. And then, oops, uh, I need to do another word. W H. There we go. So, Mr. Caesarian will be out next week. Mr. Atbash will substitute. Okay, so we're talking about. Um, Mr. Caesarian will be out next week. Mr. Atbash will substitute. Um, what? Isn't a, uh, isn't a Caesarian like a C-section? <laughs> like where they cut out a baby out of your stomach? Mr. Caesarian will be out next week. Mr. Atbash will substitute. Okay, I have absolutely no idea where to even start with that one. I must have missed something in that episode once again. But... Um, yeah. What I will say is, is I'm really losing, um, losing hope with these clues because I keep, I, I'm doing really well with decoding the clues, obviously. I'm just not doing well with interpreting what they actually mean. Um, so I, I really need to try to listen out more in the episodes, but obviously I will have a follow up video kind of going through this if I ever do understand what it means. Uh, please, Try not to spoil it in the comments. I want to try to figure it out myself. Okay, this next episode is called Double Dipper. Interesting. Let's get into it. <gasps> butterflies! Does it even work? <laughs> Wait, Mabel said butterflies. Oh my god. Sometimes it, take me, it takes me a sec. Okay, so this is where the second dipper is going to come from. Yeah. Double dipper. That's going to be useful for later, I'm sure. I'm letting you be DJ. You won't regret it, Mr. Pines. I got this book to teach me how to DJ. Ha 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 He's so in love. Oh, you're not making one of those overcomplicated listy things, are you? <laughs> overcomplicated? Let me just... All right, fold that there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. The final step is to ask her to dance. Oh, Dipper. I'm so happy to... Oh, that's so... That's so weird. Why is he so tall? Lightning, lightning, lightning. Yeah, yeah. Anybody Yo! Wants to leave, I'm charging an exit fee of 15 bucks. <laughs> an exit fee? That's so funny. Why don't pe uh, people do that more often? <laughs> I found my people. <laughs> hey, I'll compete. <gasps> I'm Mabel. That sounds like a fat old lady's name. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Pacifica! I gotta get in there. Cover for me? <laughs> um, well, I... Thanks, man. You should have known this was gonna happen. <sighs> if only I could be two places at once. Clever show. I wonder if this is a good idea. Good setup. <laughs> oh, cool. That animation was sick. I have a really big head. <laughs> you can hang out with me and Robbie. Robbie, you remember Dipper from the convenience store? Uh, no. <laughs> Yo, Wendy, check out my new guitar. Whoa, cool. <gasps> Robbie, you're a stupid, arrogant fraud. But kiss me anyway because you can play guitar. <laughs> I got an 
idea. I got the same one, but we're gonna need some help. <laughs> How many times is it? Oh my god. This is a four different plan. Oh no. Uh oh, paper jam. <laughs> Don't start unbelieving. Oh my god. <laughs> These parodies are killing me. What if there's a glitch in the sound system? Stan might get in the way. Robbie might come back. There's too many variables. We need help. No. Are you kidding me? How many more? I love how nobody's noticed. Oh, hey man, what's up? What are you doing here? I mean, wouldn't you rather be out on the dance floor uh, in like exactly 42 seconds? Speaking of tall, want to see something? Those are my three brothers and I'm... Boop. <laughs> you know, I used to make fun of my birthmark before I started hiding it all the time. Birthmark? Oh! Wait! I predicted that last video! What? I cannot believe this. <laughs> I predicted it. <laughs> okay, that's mad. If you're not going to stick to the plan, maybe you shouldn't be the dipper to dance with Wendy. Oh, they're turning on him. Watch it! Don't shove people! Wait, they melted just like how Sherlock Holmes did in that one episode. Ladies and gentlemen, we No! We have a that way. is bribery. Oh, sorry I let you guys down. You're like a total rock star! I have magazine voice. That's cute. Some night, huh? Mabel was right. I do get in my own way. Literally. Yeah, actually. It's a good metaphor. Oh boy, don't look now. Tyrone! Oh yeah, he drunk the thing. I Once think. again, this thing of things melting in front of Dipper. Strange. That was a good episode too, I really liked that one. Um, the episodes actually seem to be getting better as time goes on, which I'm really enjoying, actually. As I was saying throughout it, I do find it strange that that is the second time Dipper has just, like, watched people melt around him. First time was the wax figures in episode number three. Um, so I, I wonder if that's going to be a continuous theme. Uh, and, and, like, I, I think I said this in the last video, it's, it's almost like history repeating itself maybe like maybe we're stuck in this loop in gravity falls and there's there's no escaping gravity falls maybe it's all in the mind of a psychopath or something i don't know um yeah i i have no idea about those that kind of scale of theories at this point but um it's anything's possible at this point okay it's code time this one's a little bit shorter um, and I am really not sure if I'm going to get this one again, but I, I feel like I have a good understanding of what actually happened in, in the episode. There seems to be a really long word in this one, so I'm quite scared about that. But let's have a look. So it's K. Oops. K, Z, K, V, I. Oh. Oh, no. That doesn't make any sense at all. That's not making sense. What's what's going on? K K Z K V. Okay, let's let's continue. But this this isn't making sense so far. Am I going crazy or are these not words? <laughs> um. Ah, oh, I can't. Okay. But then there's the last one, Z, F, F, T, 
S. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. This is a uh, a mess. This is a mess. Um, has the cipher changed? Do you think? I think maybe the cipher could have changed, but why would it have changed? Okay, guys, I've literally tried everything in the cipher and it's not nothing's working i have hw hsf nwk t o i don't know i don't know what this is unless it's something that i have to put through another cipher but where would i even get the clue for that do you know what i mean like like the original clue for the three the three letters back comes from the intro of the show, the whispering. Um, so where where would this other cipher come from? I don't know. Uh, once again, with these clues, I'm lost. I'm having a hard time with these, and I I think they're getting harder, right? Like, please tell me they're getting harder because I'm really struggling with these. I'm struggling to know what they mean. Um, I wasn't struggling at all right at the beginning, but this is this is getting a lot harder. So, but I guess they're like still little little Easter eggs and stuff. And if you figure it out, then whoopie do. Um, but I can't figure it out right now, and I I don't want to spend too long on it. Um, but that's that's what I have right now. I have H W H S F N W K. Like I literally have a bunch of letters, and I don't know what that means. Um, so that's that's annoying, but um, but we keep moving. You can probably tell I'm getting a little um, a little disheartened by the fact that I I can't solve these. But um, I I think going into new shows and new series like this, you have to expect to be uncomfortable with um, with clues and like be completely lost and. Uh, I, as much as I hate that feeling right now, I also like it because it means that one day I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to have that eureka moment. Uh, and I can't wait for that moment. So let's see if that happens in a future video. But for now, we're going to react to the final episode today. And that is episode number eight. This one is called Irrational Treasure. We got to get out of here before it's too late. <sighs> They've circled the wagons. We're trapped! No! Uh, uh, uh. Man, look at the town! Dirty glass! We got dirty glass! <laughs> That's amazing! That was a really cool transition. In Gravity Falls, it used to be legal to marry woodpeckers. Oh! oh it's still legal. Very legal. Howdy, oh, it's her ass. All know me, Pacifica Northwest, great great granddaughter of town founder Nathaniel Northwest. Oh, okay. Our first newcomer is Mabel. <laughs> right, guys? USA! 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 Oh, okay. They are cheering. I thought they were not going to cheer. <laughs> USA! Is that moist critical? <laughs> wow, I'm embarrassed for you. Give her a hand, everybody! I want to punch her. She's so full of herself. I need some old timey butterscotch. Let's get out of here. I don't like it when Mabel's sad. Donkey boy, give me a hand with my car, huh? Here in 1863, I have never heard tell of a car. <laughs> Cut me some <laughs> slack. I am unfamiliar with this bold new expression. I can't take this anymore. I'm getting dumber every second I'm here. What are you going to do? Throw me in ye stocks? <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel Northwest may not be the founder of Gravity Falls. I believe the proof of this secret is buried somewhere on the enclosed document. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, we have to analyze that. We just need to crack this code. Let me see. It's not Egyptian. It's not numerology. It's not... Wait, of course! Alchemy! Yes! We got it right! We'll reveal the secret message! It's so obvious! I'm amazed that all of my theories are coming true. 
or not theories, but predictions. We were on the lookout for two kids who might be reading. We're hunting them down for secret reasons. Woo! <laughs> we're hunting them down. Rings a bell. What are we gonna do next? Steal Thomas Jefferson's rib cage? What? <laughs> so what is it anyway? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, painting. Be less stupid. <gasps> it worked. Huh? I I was gonna say upside down, maybe. Wait. Okay. Okay, dude. You can't change the image. <laughs> okay. Oh, gross! She's picking my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mabel. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this. This is this is really intriguing. Where, where is this going to take us? Let it be here recorded that Nathaniel Northwest, fabled founder of Gravity Falls, was in fact a fraud, as well as a waste-shoveling village idiot. Again, I need to analyze that later. <gasps> Woo! We got you! Woo! Stop ringing the bell, man! Uh, oh. I hit with quite a few of those. <laughs> After winning the 1837 election in a landslide, Quentin Trimbley quickly gained a reputation as America's silliest president. Okay. The only thing we have to fear is gigantic man-eating spiders. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Whoa. Oh. Is that like amber or something? A fool thought it could live forever by encasing himself in a block of solid peanut brittle. Smooth move, Mr. President. <laughs> so stupid. We seem to be trapped in some sort of crate-shaped box. It's a crate, Mr. <laughs> President. Good thing I have the President's key, which can open any lock in America. B Bruh. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Is that my third wife, Sandy? Oh my god, I get the joke. Because it was legal to marry a woodpecker. Bro! You've done a great service to your country, Mabel. As thanks this episode is just so wild. I'm legalizing everything! <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to have. My president's key. That is going to come in handy at some point. Hey, Pacifica! <laughs> Nathaniel Northwest didn't found Gravity Falls, and your whole family is a sham. Deal with it. What? Mom? <laughs> Good. Good. Just know that I'll always be right here on the negative $12 bill. Oh, my Whoa. God. This is worthless. Uh, it's less than worthless, my boy. It's less than worthless. Oh, oh my gosh. It works. <laughs> I told you it would come in handy. Mabel, away! Yeah! My favourite character right there. My favourite. I will say, that was a really cool episode for multiple reasons. But it was also just a really weird episode. Am, am I am I wrong in saying that? That was just so weird. Um, but I enjoyed it anyway. Um, let's have a look at the secret code. Okay, please tell me I'll get this one. Um, I have to get one of them. Uh, v K O F uh, I R Y F H uh, oh God, are you kidding me? I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm guessing I've missed something at some point and don't tell me how to solve it. Don't tell me how to solve it because I want to try to figure it out myself. Um, but I don't, I don't know how to do it yet. Uh, at some point, at some point in the near future, there will be a video and I will figure out how to decode this as well as look through some of the secrets that I saw very briefly 
in that episode because that was full of law stuff and and I really like how they um they said about alchemy symbols and stuff like that that's really really interesting uh, I'm so glad that a lot of the things that I've been saying ever since I started theorizing about all of this in episode two I'm so glad that all of these things are actually coming into fruition and playing a big part in the mystery. It's really cool how all of this ties into that one frame that's in the background here. This one frame, everything is tying together and that's really cool to see. Anyway, um, I think this is about time to end for now. These videos actually always take quite a while to make, especially when I'm doing the codes and I'm looking for secrets, uh, etc. But uh, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, then make sure that you subscribe so that you can see when my next one will be released. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye.